Hey guys, it's me, fresh off my uh, PB the other day. Uh, today, we're gonna keep it light. The plan is really just, um, I'm in my car, I'm in my driveway right now. I'm just gonna start driving around. I'm just gonna go for a nice Sunday drive and see if I might just stumble upon a little park or a little pond or a little lake along the way. So I guess maybe it's gonna be like pond hopping, I don't know. We're gonna leave it up to fate today. And uh, I brought some bass stuff, I brought some micro fishing stuff, I brought some heavy stuff, some light stuff, but not too much stuff altogether. I brought my little tackle bag. So uh, we're gonna keep it light. Let's, let's just start driving and we'll find something. I know we'll find something. Okay. Blah. All right, first stop. This is the Sawmill River. Um, now, I haven't heard great things about the Sawmill River. I think they used to stock it with trout, but I know it's uh, pretty polluted, or at least it has been. Um, so I'd imagine if we catch anything here, it's not gonna be more than uh, creek chubs. Um, but interesting thing I do know is that uh, eels spawn up in the Sawmill River, but I, I don't know if this is really the time of year for that. But um, the first thing I wanna do is find a worm or two. Um, I'm just gonna use my micro rod for now. Um, I meant to get some live bait before I left the house, but uh, we'll, find, we'll find something here. Oh, that was a big freaking earthworm. It's all right, these grubs worked good for me before. So, yeah, I'm gonna actually throw these millipedes, chuck them. I'm just putting a little split shot on. We're not gonna put it under a float. I'm just putting a little split shot weight on, about, I don't know, eight inches from the uh, hook, just so that we uh, can cast further and so that the uh, bait doesn't, uh, so they can be like anchored somewhere and just flow with the current. All right, so we got our grub on there. Let's see if this works. Okay, the first area I want to try casting is right here off this little neat little platform somebody made. Oh, I just had a hit. Let's try that again. I have a fish. I have a fish. Look at that. That would be a... I think that's a green sunfish. Huh. Okay. Damn. Look at that tiny little guy. And that was a, on a big hook, too. Little green sunfish. That was unexpected. Okay, but now we need more bait. Okay, that's cool. All right, guys, now we're in business. This isn't even as big as the other one that I saw before and, and another one that I just missed here, but right under this log. Oh, and there's another. Aha. Okay, so I guess logs are the place to go here. I just got, I just got three just now when I was showing you. So it was under this log right here on the bank. By the way, I don't know where I learned this, but it totally works. Anyway, if you got worms that are just going crazy and you can't keep them still, one thing that you can do is just watch. See, these guys are all over the place. Stuns them. See that? Do it as many times as you need. Look. Now they're just chilling. I'm not squishing them or anything. It's just the, uh, the shock from the clap. There's a fish. What, oh, what was that? I don't know what that was. Fish. Fish on. Another green sunfish. Another tiny green sunfish. That la The one before that was bigger. Whoop. See you, buddy. There's a fish. That's a bigger something. Nope. Well... Slightly bigger, but still just a green sunfish. See? Hi. 
Who said that? I don't see any posted signs about it. Well, that's because nobody fishes yet. Okay. Because somebody let one of their big fishes go here all the time too. Okay. Well, I'll double check on that because because I looked it up. I looked it up online, and there was there was nothing that said you couldn't fish in the Sawmill River. Okay. But up near um, the falls, I think you can. Okay. All right. Well, I, I mean, to be honest, that, that, be, I, I'm just telling you. okay. I understand. Thank you. Okay. Some bigger green sunfish. He, he hit it on top water. He really struck it hard. All right. So. So this this concerned citizen came and told me that I can't fish here. I don't see why the fuck I can't. Um, there's no signs that say I can't fish. It's a public park. I can't find anything online that says I can't fish. But it seems like she you know she's just saying, oh I'm just telling you, I'm just telling you they might they might give you a ticket. But she seems like the type that's just gonna stick around here and see what I do, and uh, you know call me in and you know I just don't want to. It's not that I think I would even get in trouble, it's that I don't want to be uncomfortable while I fish. So unfortunately you have people like this that just want to like take, you know, things into their own hand. I mean, if a Department of Conservation officer came and explained to me why fishing here is not allowed and that, that it is in fact not allowed, I'd be happy to leave. But right now it's just kind of obnoxious. Um, but this will be a spot. I can come back to later, especially if I can get confirmation that I, I can indeed fish here, because I don't, I don't think there's any reason I can't. Um, so we're going to keep driving. We're going to find somewhere else. All right, guys, here we go. This is still the Sawmill River. Um, I accessed this, this part through a little park. I talked to park staff. Westchester County Parks who confirmed for me that at least in this section, they didn't know about the last one, but in this one I can fish, people do fish, so nobody's going to tell me I have to leave here. Um, this spot looks like the water's going a little quick for the fishes, but um, there's another spot down there that looks a lot slower that we'll try in a little bit. Fish. Oh, lost it. Okay, so we know there's some fish under here. I think it was a green sunfish that I lost. I'm sure we'll get another. There's a fish. What do we got? What do we got? I think we get... That might be a red breast. Looks a little different. Yeah, it might be a red breast sunfish. It's hard to tell when it's this little. Yeah, yeah, I think that's a red breast. All right, that actually might be my first red breast sunfish, or second of my life. Another fish. And there's your green sunfish. Bigger fish, I think. Yeah, a little bit big. Oh, that's a and that's a pumpkin seed. Look at this. If we get a bluegill, we'll have the superfecta. We got the trifecta, right? The panfish trifecta, right here, or the sunfish trifecta. It's a beefier pumpkin seed. You know, nothing huge, but funny that all we need is a bluegill. I feel like bluegill. I always think of bluegills as the most common. Yeah, now the bigger pumpkin seeds are going for it. Could have been a hybrid there. Um, it had some pretty yellow fins, like a green sunfish would. Yellowish orange. Gosh, I love how this piece of worm is lasting me like a million fish. Another one. 
Damn. Oh boy, he swallowed it. Damn it. Alright, we'll use him for live bait. He won't be wasted. Oh my god, that's a carp. It's a huge carp. Oh boy, am I going to have to catch another carp on light gear? Oh, look at this guy. Look at this guy. He's coming right up to me. See him? Damn. And how? where does he think he's going? What do we got? Another pumpkin seed. So, Sawmill River is turning out to be a healthier body of water than I thought it would be. Alright, that's going to be my last cast here. I'm going to move it down a little further downstream. That's a fish. Is that a largey? No way! Look at that! Largemouth bass! I mean... I know I've been, been uh, calling out the dinks lately, but I was not expecting that. Look at that. Little largey. Okay. That's so cool. Another spot here, just, just down the line. Fish. Now that is a genuine redbreast sunfish. No doubt about it for this guy. Very blue, that long thing that's called the opercular flap, that black, long black area. Um, ooh, these guys have some parasites or something. See that on the tail? Um, got the red fin in the back. Yeah, that's a red breast. Okay, he'll find his way. Another, oh, that's a green, green sunfish. Green, I think. Okay, we're going to see how they like a little piece of pumpkin seed. Red breast on the pumpkin seed. Not exactly cannibalism, but it's kind of close. Might be a largemouth too. Or no, that's a huge creek chub. Good multi-species day. What do you know? That's a nice creek chub. Very nice. Okay, species count is four, five, five. That's a good place to end it. Kind of a bigger red breast on the big side for today. Okay. So, hold on a second. 
Okay, this is the Big Red Angler coming to you from the slippery banks of the Sawmill River. I think I'm up in Ardsley, New York at this point. Um, so, uh, hey, great multi-species day, great panfish day, great sunfish day, great creek chub day, and we even caught a little largemouth bass, so it's a great day all around. Um, guys, I hope you had a good time. You know, sometimes, even when you, you get a setback, like some lady, some random lady telling you you can't fish there because God knows why, um, then you end up somewhere else where you, you end up just killing it. So, so maybe that was, you know, what was supposed to happen today. So that's all cool. Guys, do me a favor, please like and subscribe. Um, I think that's the first time I've ever actually said that on film, but like and subscribe. Subscribe more importantly. You can dislike all you want, but I want some more subscribers. So, uh, we'll see you on down the trail. Fish like there's no tomorrow. Hooks it. Something's on. Something's on. Another big old creek job. Look at these guys. These are huge in here. See, something is over there and angry.